curious monsters and welcome to the lab. I'm Teacher Jackie. Today, we're gonna learn about the numbers 1 and 2. I also have a fun game for you to play using toys and a coin. Sound cool? Well then, strap in. It's gonna be a good Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you'll always find new learning videos and boredom busting shenanigans. Okay, let's get to it. We'll start with number one, which is perfect because when you start counting, you start with number one. One comes after zero or nothing. First you have nothing, then you have one. Nothing, one nothing, and then one. Nothing, one. Easy. Then when we add one more, we'll have two. One, two. Nothing, one, two. Nothing, one, two. Nothing, one, two. Nothing, one, two. Now that we're familiar with number one and two, let's practice writing them. Number one is the easiest one to write. Most people just write number one like this, with a standing line. Some people write it with a tiny slanting line here. Other people even add a sleeping line like this in the bottom. You can practice writing it however you want. I like writing it like this because it's the easiest and fastest to do. Go practice for yourself. Then, for our warm-up activity, write a bunch of ones on the paper or board. Make them small and don't put them too close together. Leave some space for number twos later. Now for number two. To write number two, it's a curve with a slant like this, and then a sleeping line at the bottom. It can be confusing to remember which way the curve goes. So, if you write holding your pen in this hand like me, this is our right hand, I have a trick for you to remember. It's a life hack, if you will. Put your other hand down on the paper like this, then trace around your thumb. The curve with the slant will follow the thumb until there, and then draw a sleeping line. If you use the other hand, your left hand, for writing, then you just have to remember that it goes the other way. You can put down your hand too, but don't trace it. Use it as a reminder to curve the other way around. Try it out. Perfect number twos every time. Now, on the practice paper or board you put your ones on, write a bunch of twos as well. For our warm-up activity on how to remember one and two, put a bunch of tiny toys or counters on the numbers. I'll be using my Lego. One piece on number one and two pieces on number two. Now for the game. For this one, we're going to need a coin, some tape, two toys, and some markers for them to jump on. If you have small rings, maybe you can use those. Or if not, maybe you can use coasters like these. These are the ones you put your glasses on. Look around your house. If you can't find anything, you can make small square markers of paper. I'm going to make some to show you how. Whatever you choose, make sure that the markers you're going to use are big enough for the toys to stand on. To make markers out of paper, I'm going to fold the paper in the middle like this. Bring one side to the other and smoosh. Then, I'll fold it again. And then again. And one last time. When I open up my paper, I'll have a bunch of small squares. Now, all I have to do is cut them up. I will follow these folds or creases with my scissors. When using scissors, make sure you are super careful. Maybe do it only when mom, dad, or another grown-up is nearby. When cutting, make sure that the scissors are always pointing forward. Never put them to the side. Always forward. When making or finding markers for the toys to jump on, you can use as many or few as you want. Just make sure that the two toys each have the same number to jump on so that they will have a fair race.
now we need one last thing for our game. The coin. Take the coin and put some tape on it so we can write one on one side and two on the other. That's it! We have everything we need. I'll show you how this game goes. Here's how we'll set it up. In the middle, put a target or a prize. That's what the two toys will be racing towards. The first one to reach it wins. And then, on either side of the prize, put the markers in a line like this. I don't have much space, so I'll just put three each. For your game to be longer and more fun, put even more than that. At the end of each line, put the toys who you will be using for the race. Now to flip the coin. First, put your fingers like this. And then, put the coin on top. What we're going to do is we're going to push the coin with our thumb like that. But we're going to help it along by moving our hand up. So, it's going to go like this. You can catch it in your hand just like that, and then slam it on the back of your other hand like this. And see the number that is on top. If you don't want to catch it, you can just let it fall on the table or the floor, and then see what number is on top. That number is how many jumps the toy will do on its turn. So. This one will do two jumps. One, two. Then flip the coin for the other toy to see how many jumps it will make. One. Keep making them take turns until one of them makes it to the prize. That's the toy that wins. To make it more fun, maybe you can invite someone to play with you. Each of you will flip a coin for one of the toys. You can even make them their own one-two coin. Take turns to flip the coin and then make your toy jump. The first one to the middle wins the prize. To make it more interesting, maybe you can change the prize in the middle to an actual prize. Now, I have one more level to make this game even more fun. Can you believe that? Well, here's how. You need to find a big space to play this game. You can use something like sidewalk chalk and draw markers out on the street. or find markers in and around your house. Just make sure each player has the same number of spaces to jump to the middle. If you don't have any of those things, you can just jump in the open space. If you have a lot of space, you can jump as far as you can with every jump. If you have a little space, take baby jumps to make it to the middle. That will mean that you'll take more jumps so that the game will be longer. Flip a coin, check the number, and jump that many times. Flip a coin, check the number, and jump. Flip a coin, check the number, and jump. The first one to the middle wins the prize. That's it for today. Have fun playing with your family and friends. If you like this video, there are loads more like it on the channel. Go look around and find your new favorite activity. Moms and dads, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook so you'll always be up to date with the Curious Monster Lab. Links down below. That's me done. But before I go, the world needs awesome. And you can be the awesome that it needs. Just remember this. Be brave, be kind, and stay curious.